All right, guys, what's going on? It's Jack, and welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about the, the Super Mario Brothers movie teaser that came out, um, like, what was it, a day or so ago? And uh, as far as eye candy is concerned, that movie looks like it's going to be a really faithful adaptation in terms of Mario brought to the big screen, which is great. And there are many... Another thing I want to talk about is the fact that there are so many people that are just complaining that Chris that Mario sounds like Chris Pratt. Obviously, first of all, number one is what were you expecting? And number two, I think we need to keep an open mind and we need to relax and I am going to go into detail as to why. Now, I'm gonna give a couple of examples here. Uh, they're movies, they're not animated movies, but it doesn't matter because you'll understand what I'm trying to say here. So, Batman, for instance, is my favorite comic book character of all time batman is in terms of the movies anything batman i am a very big fan of okay i can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that the dark knight trilogy is fantastic and i can also tell you without a second's hesitation as much as i love christian bale and as much as i love his batman i despise his batman voice i hate it I understand why it was put in there. Christian Bale said it himself, you know. Um, but I despise the Batman voice. Now, did the Batman voice ruin Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, or The Dark Knight Rises for me? Absolutely not. Do you hear anybody saying that Christian Bale's Batman voice ruined the Dark Knight trilogy? No. There's a lot of people that didn't like it. There's no doubt about it. But did it ruin any of those movies was it enough to ruin all those movies the entertainment factor the movie quality factor the writing the action everything like that D the cinematography you name it was the voice enough to ruin all of that and the answer to that question is no and it doesn't matter whether it's an animated movie or not because at the end of the day you're still telling a story whether it's an animated form whether it's in theater form or, or in, in live action whatever you want to call it it's a story that you're telling so ultimately, it's how you tell that story at the end of the day that makes whatever it is that you're trying to present a success. If you want to know how to truly ruin a movie, watch Super Mario Brothers of 1993. Watch Super Mario Brothers of 1993. It is, I mean, Bob Hoskins was cast brilliant, brilliantly uh, as Mario. That's, I, I would say that's that's a pretty damn good casting. But as far as everything else as a movie is concerned, uh-uh. So it's kind of like, you know, so, and did, you know, did Bob Hoskins sound like the original Mario? No, it's, just, you know, obviously this is not a live action movie, which is another reason why we can't basically bitch about the voice as well. So it's like there's room for potential in the difference in the voice that they, they can offer. Oh, by the way, speaking of voices, Jack Black as Bowser genius you could tell just by the sound of his voice in the teaser that he's having a good time with this and as far as everything we've seen it looks great and that's the thing about animated movies it's all eye candy and right now everything we've seen from the very beginning with the fire with bowser and everything else and then luigi at the end guess what i mean it's it's all number one it's all definitely faithful it's definitely mario <laughs> unlike the original 1993 movie but at the same time it's the voice acting is what's going to give that different flavor and that good flavor that would actually fit within what they're trying to present. And the thing is, one voice that you may be critical of, history has shown with an example that I just gave at the beginning of the video with the Dark Knight trilogy, for instance, is not enough to ruin the, in, the entire film. As a matter of fact, you could still have Though you let's just say Mario's voice was perfect, but ever, but so many other factors about the movie were shit. What do you think has a higher probability of ruining the movie? One voice, which may not even be all that bad once we hear more of it, even though it's not going to sound like Mario from what we sound what we've seen in the games or whatnot, or is it everything else? Because again, throughout movie history, that's what we've seen, right? We've seen, we've seen people that look like the characters, they can sound like the characters, but at the same time, the movie could still be shit. And video game movies are really, really good at doing this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, I mean, I mean, come on. Uh, 
the original Mortal Kombat 1995 was terrific. In my opinion, still holds as the best video game movie adaptation ever. Um, I haven't seen Sonic 1 or 2. I really need to see those because I hear good things from people that have been talking to me on Twitter. And I need to see both of those movies because I, I really want to. Plus, I'm a Jim Carrey fan. I absolutely love Jim Carrey. So Sonic and Jim Carrey, you can't go wrong with that. But, uh, but the thing is also, another thing you got to understand is that there are just, how do I put this? It is way too premature at this point to, to uh, complain and go ballistic over the voice. And not only that, there's more positives than there are negatives. When you look at the entire trailer as a whole, you know, Jack Black's Bowser, Bowser's voice, the fact that we've seen a multitude of characters already, the fact that it is a legit, faithful, animated adaptation of a Mario movie that a lot of Mario fans would absolutely love to see. And, and let's, let, let's not mention the fact that it's Mario. It's like the first major video game, video game character that pretty much everybody from all generations is familiar with. So the fact that he's coming to the big screen is a big thing. And so far from what we've seen and what we've heard, you know, other than the Chris Pratt voice, which I personally don't think is a big deal, especially since we haven't really heard that much, but it could fit in very perfectly. You know what I mean? So when you put everything else together, it's like, okay, let's just say, let's just say for argument's sake, if Chris Pratt's voice is utter shit, well, Batman's voice was utter shit in the Dark Knight in the Dark Knight trilogy, in my opinion. I'm sure, I'm sure there's some people that liked it, but I know a lot of people that certainly didn't. Me being one of them, the hardcore Batman fan that I am. Okay, so you know, it, so when it comes to the voice of Mario, I mean, it's like everything else. It's Chris Pratt's voice is that bad, ends up being that bad. Um, I have faith that so far from what I've seen, that everything else is going to hold in place very well. That will carry the rest of the movie and it will be an overall good movie and i think that the voice is not really going to cause a dent in its success if christian bale's voice didn't cause a dent in the dark knight trilogy uh especially since it was set to revive what came before it which was batman and robin and we all know what happened with batman and robin right <laughs> so um uh so the thing is batman begins was the first movie for them to do what they did to revive the franchise and christian bale's voice was the batman sore throat voice that we all know of right from the beginning did that ruin it did that keep the, the did that keep people from wanting to see the, the the dark knight and the dark knight rises hell no no it's just one of those things that people were like well it is what it is it's there for a reason it's like okay fine we'll deal with it and it's like it's you know it, it's it's the whole presentation it's the story, it's the cinematography, it's the action, stuff like that. In this case, being an animated movie, it's, first of all, it's nailing it in terms of faithfulness, in terms of how everything looks. So, and then you're going to have your characters. You, you, I mean, we already saw what, Toad, I believe, and then we saw Mario, we saw Luigi, we saw Bowser. It's like, you know, it's like, what more will we see? And we're going to see plenty, I'm sure. It's like, what else are they going to put in there that's going to remind us so much about the video game, but at simultaneously making it its own thing and having Chris Pratt as the voice and not everything sounding exactly like the video game is part of the formula that I think is going to have that movie succeed because it needs to simultaneously be its own thing without, without undermining what Mario is, which is the big mistake that the 1993 movie made. I mean, granted it was a live action movie, but that doesn't matter. Uh, wh wh everything else that matters still still holds in, holds in place. So um, it's the presentation of the film. Doesn't matter if it's animated. Doesn't matter if it's theater, live action, whatever. You're still telling a story. So it's all about the quality of that story and how you're going to present it. So so far things are looking good. And again, even with me saying this and keeping an open mind, um, it's still premature because we really haven't seen too much. We've seen two and a half minutes. But I've seen a hell of a lot more positives out of the whole thing rather than negative. I don't even see Chris Pratt's voice as a negative yet. Not until I have a reason to. But at the same time, it very well may not be negative enough, even if it is annoying, uh, negative enough to ruin the film. Seriously. So, um, so yeah, we're just going to have to chillax a little bit and calm down. And, you know, because that's one of the biggest things that I saw on the internet with big complaints. There were people were talking about Chris Pratt's voice and bitching about it. It's like... It's like, dude, come on, man. <laughs> it's like, look at, look at the entire thing, man. Don't just, you know, <laughs> don't just look at one little aspect. And, and at the same time, it's still premature, man. But so far, in terms of first impressions, I liked what I saw. And uh, I'm excited for what they're going to show next. We're still like, what, seven, seven or so months out before the movie releases. So um, 
I think it's great. I, I think it's great that they're finally making a Mario movie, and, and I think a lot of people are going to go see it. And I think if they play their cards right and they present the story correctly, I think it's going to make a, a good amount of money in the box office as well. And then the next thing you know, it's going to help spawn other video game movies that deserve uh, the right to be shown that haven't been shown yet, whether it's in animated or in live action form. So um, when you look at it, lots of positive things man so anyway that's how i see it and that's just basically what i wanted to talk about so let me know down in the comment section what you guys think did you see the trailer what do you think about it and let me know down below and i will catch you guys on the next one